Morning all, greetings from Partington, where I've ended up this sunny October morning. It's not a place that I really know, other than that James and I passed through here on the west radius of our ring walk. I'll be glad to go adventurising with you all as soon as we get off this busy road. Now I'm not even sure that this is a footpath but there was something interesting looking on Google Maps beyond these trees. Let's see if we can sneak in there. Time of year for the acorns to be dropping from the mighty oak trees. Put your hand up if you're a Blink-182 fan. I am! <laughs> if you are, you'll know that Tom DeLonge has come back to the group and that a new album is coming out shortly. We've already been treated to the new single, Edging, which is pretty good. I've been tapping my feet and nodding my head. We cast our minds back to the year 2000 to an 18 year old Jamie, still wet behind the ears, going to Temple Newsome Park at Leeds, to the Leeds Carding Festival. That is the first time I watched Blink. And it was then, 22 years ago, that I fell in love. Where am I going here? If we're gonna go where I think I wanna go, we need to get across this brook. Let's use this tree to aid us in that task. <laughs> hey, done it, like a ninja. So guys, this, ow, with its prickles, is broad oak wood full of mushrooms. Definitely not one of the most walkable routes that I've chosen for myself this morning. Oh. Maybe if I get in the bracken here, there'll be less brambles. And this, people, is the reason why other YouTubers have a million subscribers and I have 607. Because I go nowhere and I see nothing exciting. If I continue straight, I'll come to a road called Heath Farm Lane. Aren't the colours of the autumn fantastic, people? Well, what looked like a potentially exciting place to explore on the other side of the road is actually new houses. And as I walk out here, this reminds me that James and I did walk through here on our West Ring Radius walk. If you look on the map, we're not far from Partington Railway Station. Let's go and check it out. An exciting new community. Seems pleasant enough. Anyway, coming back to Blink 182, they're doing a world tour. And my sister has managed to get us tickets to go see them in Manchester next October. Last time I saw him was down at Castlefield Bowl in Manchester and being right at the front when the drummer, Travis, finished his set, he threw one of his drumsticks into the crowd. I caught it, whacked it straight down my pants so that no one else could get it. Still got that at home, pride and joy. Now it's curious that Partington Station should still figure on my Strava map because Partington Station actually closed down in 1964. Now my question is whether it's possible to get up to where Partington Station was and see what remains. Well, there's an old railway bridge up in front of me. Before we do go exploring, let's just have a little look at this tunnel. Penis. Tase you in your ball sack. You like that? Oh yes, daddy. A fascinating place, oh my word. What is that? All right, let's go and look for some history. There's a few too many willies in this tunnel. Oh, a bit mucky. Okay, let's go down to the bridge first of all. This is the bit where the cops get called 
We've got a jumper on the bridge. <laughs> All right, let's mooch back along the old railway line. See if there's any old platforms or anything like that. Yes, there is. Just here on my right, can you see? Stand back from the edge, train's passing. <coughs> oh, got dirty knees. This is us. There you are, look at that. See that big old gas tower there at the back? Well, that's where the new houses are. And if we flip round this way, look at these four chaps. Stood pretty much where I am right now. On that note, somewhat sweating and filthy, yet at the same time dressed like James Bond. Don't ask. We'll have a walk down to the village green of Partington, see St Mary's Church. And that should do us for today's adventure. Partington is a town in the Trafford Borough in Greater Manchester, although historically in Cheshire, on the south bank of the Manchester Ship Canal, just opposite Caddishead. After World War II, to clear some of the bombed out slums of Manchester, Partington was extended as an overspill estate. Here's a local map, there's the Ship Canal. Cross Lane Park where we started this walk. Very pretty. Flowers match the curtains. And the bin. Some nice historical cottages here in Partington. If we cross the road, we can go and see St Mary's Church, which was opened in 1884. I mean, for me, I'm just loving the tower very German. Always been fascinated by graveyards. Got the old vicarage at the back here. Got the newer extension on the back of the church. Somewhat spoils its character really, but I suppose it's the only way you can fit more people in your congregation. And a grade two listed church at that. Some absolutely lovely gardens at the back. Big clock here. The Millennium. And then just over the way you've got a big shopping centre. Let's have a little wander through before we call it a day. <laughs> Made me laugh. A group of little kids on bikes just asked me, why are you wearing a suit in Partington? It may not be the sort of place where people wear suits, but it's the sort of place you can get a chicken tikka slice for £1.4p from Tesco. Happy days. Maybe not my most exciting of videos. Maybe not the most exciting of places, but I enjoyed it. It's always good to get out and explore somewhere new. Let you all be then. Have a lovely evening. Hang about people. Partington Community Centre has got a Partington mosaic on it with a rabbit, canal barges, boats. There's that Carrington power station at the back. And obviously a birthday party going on inside. All right, this is really it. See you on the next one. <laughs>